how to install electric brakes on your trailer. What you need to get started is all the right parts. You need drums with the right stud pattern to suit your wheels. They can be Ford, Commodore, Holden HT, which are the common ones. You'll need the two backing plates, which are marked left hand and right hand. To do this job, you'll also need a new oil seal, dust cap, and some common tools like the rubber mallet, pliers, and spanner. If you're replacing your bearings, you'll also need a new set of bearings. You'll also need the mounting bracket, welded onto the axle to mount your brakes on the axle. The first thing you need to do is to take the dust cap off with the help of a tool and a mallet. After that, take the cotter pin out with a plier. Loosen the axle nut with a spanner and remove the washer. Pull the hub drum towards you and remove it from the axle. Once you have the hub drum off the axle, wipe off the old grease off the axle. You can then remove the bearings off the axle. You then need to take the nuts off the weld ring from the back of the old backing plate. Remove the old backing plate off the axle and wipe off old grease and dirt off the axle so that the surface of the axle is clean. The next step is to install bearings and oil seal to your hub drum. Tap the oil seal softly until everything is flush. You also need to pack new grease onto your bearings. This can be done with the help of a greasing tool available in most auto hardware stores, or you can do it manually as well. After this, you need to install the new electric backing plate onto the axle. You just slide the backing plate onto the axle and tighten the nuts and washer to the backing plate. Once you've tightened the nuts and washers of your backing plate, you move on to the next step, which is installing the hub drum. Slide the hub drum back onto the axle and wipe off any excess grease from the face of the drum. Install axle washer and castle nut back onto the axle. Give the hub drum a spin a couple of times so that the grease seeps right in and tighten the castle nut with a wrench. Insert the split pin in the castle nut and bend the ends to lock it. Put the dust cap on top of the hub and tap it slightly with a hammer to make it fit perfectly. And that's it. After this, you will need to wire it up with the help of an auto electrician, or you can follow instructions provided by the manufacturer. Electric brake controllers are required to be used with electric brakes. For more information, do call us or email at info at trailercenter.com.au.